Hey Leos, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Yes it is. This week we're going to focus in on your person's true desires and feelings towards you and about your connection. It's also a Ciro Marchetti deck week guys. Uh huh. Y'all know I love Ciro Mar Marchetti. We're using the Grand or Terra Grand Lux Oracle of Visions and Maruk X's deck. Our conversation deck will be big, big mama deck. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Leos. Whose energy is the strongest this week? Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already know, intuitively know, and sense about your person and your connection. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can always check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up energy there. It's my Leo's person. Bring it out for us. What's the true desires and feelings right now? Bring it out for us. Talk to us. Ooh, it's energy going slow, y'all. We'll slow it down, but it popped on the bottom. Uh -huh. Oh, take a leap of faith. Ooh, let's see. It's a step off this ledge together and see if we can fly. Ow, this is somebody that's <clears throat> willing to take a risk and to jump into something with us. Uh huh. Just move things up in the connection. Let's see what Merc X's deck will bring out. Oh. Milestone. We may have hit a milestone in our connection. This person wants to uh, bring it on to solid ground with that one. But also at the same time, see if we can fly. Soar. Ooh, that one don't want to go on me. Contemplation. I've been thinking a lot about us. Tell me, do you think of me too? Oh, so we most definitely got somebody that um, can really... Doing a lot of thinking about the seriousness for them of this connection. Let's get them talking. Leo's person. They they, they want to step up game with us. Uh -huh. Yeah, they do. Because I keep, I keep feeling that four of wands energy uh, popping through my head. The image of the four of wands. And y'all know that's it's a, that is a milestone. It's about... Bringing things to a solid commitment with us. The stability of something. Talk to us, Leo's person. Bring it out. Pop. Ooh, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is a stress card, guys. It makes you feel like you got a heavy load on yourself. But it's also a determination to work through any challenges that you're facing together. Nine of Wands. Somebody has most definitely been through some hard times. Because this is our wounded warrior. Mm -hmm. So this person does not give up very easy. Even though they've had rough time. A rough past in their life and stuff. And so, you know some true experiences. Let's put it that way. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not broken easy. Yeah. Let, yeah. Ooh, and they're definitely thinking about that Taurus energy. King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, uh, st stability. What's important for this person is to bring in the stability right now. What they're contemplating and thinking about is um, the loyalty, the faithfulness, the persistence, the stubbornness of not wanting to give up on things in their life that they truly want. But it's also about protecting and bringing things to a stability stable foundation building building put it that way and we are in hangman mode feeling a little bit stuck like things aren't moving fast but they are getting the perspective they need in this connection right now so that we definitely hit a phase of where we're uh, seeing seeing this especially this person they would be saying they're seeing the connection in you in a a different light like this might be the one. Yes. Let's keep going here. Keep talking to us. Pop. Oh, yeah. Page of Cups. They are in love. With that one, it's also tell me because this is what this little page is the one I call a slave of love through innocence. Your logic goes out the window. Uh, any doubts, any, you know, 
thing you feel like is crazy about the connection, it goes out the window because all you know is you're in love. This, this I love this person. I've got these feelings and yeah, just like being drunk in love. This is, but it's an indication that also that our connection is somewhat a little new. Uh, especially to have hit this um, point of this person. It, you know, it could be weeks, months that we've been uh, connecting with each other. But it's the point for this person that they're like, I think this is the one. Yes. Ten of, ten of Cups. Ooh, you make them happy. You're bringing them that bliss in life. That's our Heaven on Earth card. But it's also an indication for me that this person really has uh, whatever their experience has been in the past. And this is probably every area of their life. They feel like they feel beat up. But they are also very wise with this King of Pentacles of knowing nothing is going to break them. Nothing. Mm-mm. Then we have a Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine Aries energy showing up. Let's see what they're wanting to tell me on uh, that Queen of Wands because they would be holding you in that one, um, Leo. And you've got their attention, your center stage form right now. Let's see what else is bringing. Tell me about that. Ooh, Devil Capricorn energy. Hang on to it. And card of the past, the nostalgia, the youthful energy, though. And the sun card, truth. Oof. Mm. Hang on, let me slow down a minute and, and read this energy they're bringing at me. With, with this one, it is an indication that at some point in the past, there was a lot of inner demons and things about lifestyle, habits, things like that that they've had to free their self from uh -huh. and they're standing in the light now they don't mind being honest about it uh, it could be anything from you know uh, an addiction substance abuse things like that uh that they they that's their battle that's their <laughs> yeah i've been through some shivas and i don't break easy because i've been through some hell Mm -hmm. So this person is, they're feeling really comfortable and honest about things like that. And that, uh, for someone, it might mirror that past, this, this might mirror, uh, this uh, would be something we both have in common with each other. Because they are saying, um, you, you've captivated them, uh, they're following your energy, or Queen of Wands energy is a spotlight energy of she leads the way. They're, they would be looking at you and reading your energy to know what to do next in the connection. But it's also, we've got, I'm hearing this in common, in common with each other. Mm -hmm. This, guys, the devil energy from the past. Uh -huh. And being honest about it. On the bottom of the deck, what do we have, guys? We've got A3 of Pentacles. This is the blueprint. Uh huh. Working together, teamwork, but building something together. So this person is thinking out to the future of what you can tangibly build together and be together. Ooh, card of valor, block and protect. I'm not feeling so much that they are, are blocking, you know, yeah, of course, they, they got a defense. They know how to take care of their self. They're street smart, let's put it that way. But they have this need, a lot of times the seven of wands energy will have you standing up for the people you feel like need someone to stand up for them and protect them. So they've got this protective energy coming at you. Ooh. Nine of Swords, stress card, obsessing, nightmares, things like that. That may be what they're trying to protect you from. Or feeling a need just to step up and be there. Be that solid shoulder you can depend on in times of that. When, when we're having anxiety and stuff. We got a Queen of Swords. They do feel like you're a little bit disconnected from them. And you overthink things. And uh, you're not listening to your heart. You're not... Exp not less It's not that you're not listening to your heart. You're trying to use your logic more than anything. Right now. Think, think, think mode. Oh, but there's a lot of passion. And yeah, y'all know this is sexual, sensual energy. 
uh, going on between us, and it's new. It's it's a fiery kind of energy. That oh, they loving that one. And then we have oh, they don't want to lose you. Yes, that's our four of pentacles. That is about being smart, making smart choices, but holding on to what you feel like is precious to you. So this person, there's a little bit of jealousy, and we might. I'm hearing we might mirror a little bit of that. So, uh, some of the insecurity, I'm not sure. Because, uh, like I said, this is seems to be a somewhat new connection with someone. There were, there's, in like, it's mirroring, guys. There's a little bit of concern of, are you, are you feeling the devotion towards me the way I'm feeling it towards you? Are we on the same ground that four pentacles energy is the blueprint are we headed in the same direction thinking the same way feeling the same way Ooh, okay let's pull all these up i'm gonna leave the uh first cards out help me stay tapped into your person's energy to be able to read it better let's hold the energy on this deck it's for my leos let's get on talking guys let's get big mama up here and let them talk to us for my Leo's first thing, Leo's, talk to us, talk. I'm here for you, ooh, seven of wands, I'm here for you, whenever you need me, whatever you need, it was not just your looks that attracted me, just so you will know, it was not your looks, but just know they popped you into that divine feminine Aries, Queen of Wands energy, you are hot. Yeah, you you be perfect looking to them. They love everything about you. Mm -hmm. What else? Talk to us. But it's not just, it goes beyond just the physical looks and attraction. The negative thoughts are only making things worse. Why do I feel like they're saying that about you? About you, Leo. <laughs> that you got, they can sense you've got neg negative self brain chatter going on. We've got confirmation for someone February, Aquarius, and Pisces. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, what else? Pop. I can't wait to show you off. Mm -hmm. Tell the world your mind. This is my baby. You're just being kind. I'm hearing it like they're asking you a question. Put it into question form, guys. Are you just being kind? Are you not saying what your true feelings are? Are you just not wanting to hurt my feelings about something? I have never felt this way before. Ooh. I know we have a real connection. Mm-hmm. And you actually really do. I can sense. I can sense from this part, or either I'm just feeling your person's uh, confidence in that that you've got a true connection, uh, intuitive, energetic connection. My passion is burning so strong that I can't take it. That physical part, guys, is the bomb. Keep talking to us, please. Ooh, wait, I almost pushed it back. Ah, I feel your tears. I feel your tears. Leos, Leos, are we also a wounded warrior that has been like through the ringer on some things? Because this person really is saying on an intuitive level, on that energetic level, we, we don't have to explain ourselves to each other because we're getting each other on that energetic level. We, un we got that intuitive understanding of each other. I'm really disappointed. I feel your tears. I'm really disappointed. Hold that one up there for a minute. Here I go. I said I would never fall again. They're propping me back to the Four of Coins uh, card that we pulled. The Four of Pentacles of the tight grip wanting to hold on. I'm really... I, it's not saying exactly what they want to say. It's almost like they're they're scared I hate saying the word scared because this person's not really fearful. Uh, but it is. I mean, deep down, they would never say I'm scared of anything. <laughs> I can already tell they would, you know, because they've been through it. they got some confidence in their ability to overcome. But they're anticipating disappointment 
Here I go. I said I would never fall in love again. I would never give my heart to this level again. So this person is most definitely worried for some reason, whatever reason. And like I said, they're popping me back to the four of pentacles. And sometimes that's jealousy, possessiveness. I need to know your mind. I need to know things are secure with us. Um, so there might be in question that, you know, they're anticipating uh, losing you. Your touch heals me. What else? What else? I'm yeah, I'm scared of losing you. Ooh. That the, guys, for some reason, this would be really hard for your person to actually allow the word I'm scared. I'm scared. Scared, I'm a scary cat to cross their lips. They would never describe themselves as that. Only in their in their energy would they admit, "I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I am fearful. Yeah, I worry about it. I stress over it." Mm -hmm. Your tears cut deep into my soul. What are you going through, Leos? I'm, I'm going to send y'all a, a hug big time because this is an indication y'all been through some crap crap with your person reading this energy and feeling your tears because you got you're carrying some pain that they're picking up on. And I mean, it hurt. when you cry, let's put it this way. When you cry, they're crying. When you're upset, they become upset. And you don't even have to be physically together for them to sense when you're upset. They know. They just sense it and can feel it. They're feeling your energy like it's their own. Let's keep going here. What else? But you're carrying some pain. Mm-hmm. I want to shield and protect you from those who hurt you. There is our Seven of Wands energy. I'm very drawn to you. I wish I knew how you really feel. Really feel. And it's going to pertain. This feeling, guys, is pertaining to something they feel feel like they're going to lose. Could possibly lose you. The thought, ah, the thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. And there it is. They are worried. It, uh, maybe you're going to, um... Return to the past. Return to a you know a a, a past person. So they they feeling like they're uh, and that may be some of the pain they feel you carrying. What is this one? I feel overwhelmed. Put it no. It'd be more of your energy. Like I said, um, they feel your energy like it's their own. It's a very empathic energy uh, going on between the two of you. Uh, they feel it when you feel overwhelmed, and they feel like you feel overwhelmed. Is there anything else with this deck you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. I'm not in a good place mentally and financially. Um, change it to we're not in a good place. You would be on the mentally. And probably both of you on the financially, mentally, mentally, because they're they like I said, they're reading a lot of your energy and they're feeling your pain. Mm -hmm. I love you more than I love myself, just so you will know. Ooh, guys, hold the energy on this deck. Let's go ahead and rotate the message deck so I'll know which side we're going to use next. We'll go back to the tarot real quick and see if there was anything else that this person needed to bring out. <clears throat> Let's keep the energy focused on desires in the connection. Feelings and desires, true desires. Ooh, Emperor, they definitely want to build with us, but they're also in that protective mode of yeah, I don't I don't want you around people that hurt you. Ah, seven of ones again, yeah. They want to be there for you. Stand up. And I got a feeling this person stands up for a lot of people that, you know, have been through bad experiences or are needing that, you know, someone that needs for people to stand up for them until they can get on their feet and build their confidence. Ooh, Eight of Cups, turning point in their life. Eight of Cups <clears throat> is their life being reprioritized. They're 
they're, what's important to them uh, from the past because this person is in contemplation. We've hit a point. They're ready to go to a new horizon. The things that used to be important to them, that they used to focus on, that would you know, be emotionally fulfilling, that just ain't happening no more because they are in their mind. They've hit that turning point of there's something new in my life and this is now the most important thing and they're wanting to go in that direction. But like I said, they got this protective energy over us. Mm -hmm. What's on the bottom of the deck? Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, offering their heart to us. Wishes to offer their heart to us. Wish fulfillment. And, but there's a little bit of uncertainty about uh, the future with you. They're not, just not sure. A little bit of doubt. Um, and the doubt is not on their part of what they're feeling. Their their doubt is mainly on to you and what's going on with you. And are they going to lose you? Will they be disappointed by this? And, and building confidence. Ah, also, focused in on that making yeah, money. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, bringing in a stability, but this person has confidence. Uh, they know they're not coming into this connection uh, where circumstances and things like that are compelling them. No codependency. I'm okay. I can be single. I can handle my stuff. But for some reason, that is coming into question. Um, might be on your end, maybe, Leo's, of... Uh, are you with someone just because of the situations or circumstances around your life? Are you choosing temporarily a, a temporary fix? Let's put it that way. Of needing somebody to show up for you. That That's the little bit of doubt they got going on. But their true wishes, their wish, their true desires towards you right now is that Pisces Knight giving you their heart. Willing to put their heart out on their sleeve and take a chance. That fly, I'm willing to risk it. Yeah, because I know if it, you know, if I end up falling on my face and we don't fly together, I'll be, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Yeah, so this person is brave enough to risk, to risk it. Mm -hmm. Let's get them talking again, guys. See what else they want to bring out and say. It's for my Leos, my Leos. Talk to us. Oh, pop. That one's trying to fly off the deck. My heart is broken. They may be acknowledging that you're in a uh, the state of, you know, mental, emotional state of you've had your heart broken. I'm making the effort. And just know, like I said, some of these, they may not be saying this about their own heart. Because they are empathically tuned into you on your emotional level to the point it feels like it's their emotions why haven't you responded to me have they already asked you uh, about where the connection is headed i feel so torn that might be your energy and just talk to me that would be their energy just talk to me about it. It's okay to ta to express your truth. What's real for you? Just to express it. I feel so intimidated. That might be you. What else? Confirmation for someone. We've got August, Leo, and Virgo. Probably confirmation for all of us. Because we Leos. As yes, we are. <laughs> what else? What else? Last shuffle. Pop. I'm worried that you moved on and that you don't want me anymore. This is the projected fear out in front. And I feel it's mirroring not just them, but also you. You. Mm-hmm. That Yeah. So, hold the energy. Let's go ahead, Leos. Let's get them to focus in on the deck. They would like to give you a final and closing message from this week. Talk to us. Oh, guys, we're getting the rose. G is the light side of the rose deck. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hang on, guys. I just looked up. I've got a card, a little card I pull out for myself. And your person brought my attention to it. Let me pull it down and show it to you. Maybe confirmation for someone. Do your best. 
because you want to, not because you have to, but because you want to. You do your best when you are enjoying the action or doing it in a way that will not have negative repercussions for you. You do your best because you want to do it, not because you have to do it, not because you are trying to please the judge and not because you are trying to please other people. Ooh, I got chills on that one. Woo. Okay, it's going to close us off. Leo's person is popping out for us. Pop. Give me a chance. There is nothing I wouldn't do for you. We have, ooh, we've shared many past lives together. They, yeah, we definitely got a connection with this person. Definitely empathic, intuitive, energetic connection. I'm afraid to tell you. My love for you will never die. I just want to see you smiling with true happiness. Not a fake smile, a real smile of happiness. Please try to understand how I feel. I really do love you. I want you in my life always. And guys, last one. My, get my fingers to work. I want to take a chance and risk it all. But I'm afraid. I, I, I'm, I'm wanting to change it, guys. I want to take a chance and risk it all. But I know you're afraid. Ooh, I'm going to cry, Leo. Ooh. Okay, guys. That's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings, as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.